Johnny Valentine here. We're at um, our shop, Area 51, as we call it. And um, somebody had asked in Scott's last video about solar panel frames. So it's just going to be a quick little video explaining solar panel frames. They're constantly changing the frames, um, I guess, to save cost or try to get it stronger with using less aluminum, whatever. So the first frame I'm going to show you, this is from like a 2013, 2014 Ceneva. And you can see the frame is like, it's aluminum L bracket, basically. And it's screwed in. There's actually screw holes up here at the top. They're screwed together frame. So this is a Ceneva, older Ceneva panel with screwed together frame. I like this frame. It's about two inches thick. It's a thick panel, but the frame feels strong. I like a beefy frame. I like it to be as strong as it could be. Um, this is probably my favorite frame, and this is the way almost all solar panels used to be. Real quick on a frame, you're going to see uh, mounting holes. On the always going to see these holes on the long edge of the frame. That's where they want you to. They usually give you in the installation manual like a plus, plus two, plus or minus two inches from this hole. That's where they want that the rail or the solar uh, racking to be perpendicular to the long edge of the module. So they show you that they'll have frame holes in the specs, and they'll tell you where the frame holes are. So if you come over here. This is a Solar World. Now here I got you a Solar World. This is nothing wrong with the frame. The panel obviously has seen its better days. But this is, this is, first thing I'm going to show you something different. Solar World does pressed on corners. These corners are like, they're not screwed. They're, they're like pressure test pressed on. That's like Solar World's big claim to fame. What I do like, what I don't like, um, so once again you get holes for, for rail and, um, and then, but this one, if you look at it, the lip of this solar world, this is a newer frame, you got a lip, but then the lip stops right here, and um, you don't have any lip here. So one of the reasons I like a lip is if you are using PV wire clips. So this is a PV wire clip. I like, I like there's a couple of different types, but it's got, it's got some beveled edges, and uh, one side clips onto the, like the metal, it's got teeth, and the other side is beveled, that's gonna clip the wire. So. The reason I like a lip all the way around a module is so that I can clip this in anywhere I want. See on this one I can only dress my wire on this side, but I'll show you how, this is a little pro tip, solar pro tip right here. The solar man dresses his wires so that, that tape right there. So when you dress a wire before you put it on the roof or wherever, your wires clip dressed you know it's wired in a way where your solar array is going to have the lifetime of your panel is also going to be the lifetime of your wiring we we try to do everything with the you know maximum uptime being thought out so so i like to have a lip all the way around because it gives me a place where i can clip my wires and sometimes i got to run a wire this way and on this panel there's nowhere to clip so this frame it's probably just as strong this panel's Busted, so the glass doesn't give it any. As you can see, it's not playing frame. I mean, that's a good bit of the wiggle. See the wiggle? Now that's a broken panel. Oh. Now one other thing about about modules or panels, however you want to call them. Some people. This is uh, all panels are going to come with leads on the back and the type of connector. This is an older connector. This is a. Uh, is a uh, Tyco connector. You don't see these much anymore, but they still work fine. But now you're going to see um, almost all MC4s and Amphenols. They got PV wire, and there's the junction box. That's all. People kind of know that. And then the, there's a piece of rail. This is just a piece of scrap racking. But well, like I was talking about, the um, module mounting holes, that's where they're going to tell you they're going to give you a tolerance of where that rail should go through. So if you were to mount it, this rail would be you know, going perpendicular to the long edge and then the feet would attach to the roof. The roof would be here. And uh, it's a little backwards. Next video, maybe we'll talk about racking some or if anybody, whatever they want to talk about or hear about, we'll talk about it. There's a whole bunch of tricks in our bag of tricks, in our quiver of solar arrows. Johnny Valentine, signing out, Gain Solar.